Hello there. In the previous video, we got the basic introduction of obfuscation and how it works. Now, in this video, we will obfuscate one JS file using this JavaScript obfuscator tool. This JavaScript obfuscator tool is a very powerful and an open source obfuscator tool which obfuscate your JS file using the node.js. We will write one node.js code to obfuscate our JS files using this tool. Now, without discussing much, let's directly jump into the demo. Alright, here you can see that for the demo, I have created one HTML page and there is also one JS file which contain one function, validate email address. And I have added this JS file reference in this HTML page over here. And I am calling that validate email address function over here. And if the email address is valid, then I am logging that message in the console. So if the email is invalid, then we will get this message. And if the email is valid, then we will get this message. Now, before we go ahead, first we need to install that JavaScript obfuscator tool in this application. So, let me clicking on this terminal menu and click on new terminal. Now, to install the JavaScript obfuscator, I need to write this command and then click enter. And you can see that our JavaScript obfuscator tool is installed. So now you can close this terminal and you can see all the related node modules in this folder. So now I want to obfuscate this JS file using this tool. So let's write the node.js code in this obfuscator util.js file. So in this JS file, you can see that I have already referenced the file system module. And I have already referenced our newly installed JavaScript obfuscator tool in this variable. Now let's read this common operation.js file using this file system reference module. If error is found and throw error so we will get the obfuscated code in this variable now we need to write this variable content into a separate js file so let's say our newly generated js file name is common operation dash obfuscated.js and then we get the obfuscated code from this variable so dot get obfuscated code and then let's define the callback function so now our code is ready now it's time to run this code so for that let's again open the terminal and we need to write the command node space js file and press enter you can see that we are successfully able to generate our newly obfuscated JS file, which you can see over here. Now let's open this JS file. Now you can see that this newly generated obfuscated file is really, really hard to read and interpret it. But this is totally a valid code. And to confirm this, let's reference this newly generated obfuscated JS file over here. And now if we run this file, you can see that we are able to get this message. Now if I enter wrong email ID, then we are getting invalid email address. So in short, this newly generated obfuscated file is totally a valid code. So this is how you can generate the obfuscated JS file using this JavaScript obfuscator tool. And now in the next video, we will install this JavaScript obfuscator tool globally. And using the command line tool, we will obfuscate our JS file. So stay tuned with us.